everyone and welcome back to another video on my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jenna Van Maurick. I write books and I also read quite a lot of books and I talk about those things here on my YouTube channel, specifically Christian fiction and Christian historical fiction. So if any of those things are things that interest you, be sure to keep watching. But in today's video, I'm going to share my favorite book covers and I'm going to pick one for each color. So let's get into it. want to very quickly disclaim that these are not necessarily book recommendations. I'm not making this video to recommend that you read these books, and I'm also not recommending that you do not read these books. These are just books on my shelf that I think are pretty. I haven't read all of them, I've read most of them, but mainly it was just looking at my shelf and thinking about what was my favorite book cover for each of these colors. So this is just a favorites video. It's not necessarily like, oh I really really liked this book, but most of these I definitely would recommend, or I I would recommend the authors of these books. Without further ado, I'm gonna show you each book and then we'll move on color by color until we have a whole rainbow of beautiful books. For the color red, I chose Rahab Hidden Scars by Rebecca Geiger. This is a new book from 2023, so it just came out this year. You've heard me talk about it multiple times on this channel, so I'll try not to bore you too much with all of the details, but this book is a Rahab biblical fiction, ancient historical Christian fiction retelling. I picked this cover for the color red because it's just so striking. I love the model and how she just kind of blends in with the landscape around her and it's one of those things that I just look at and it's just so beautiful and I don't know if you can pick it up on camera as well but there's just beautiful things going on with the light that are much more visible I think in like the digital computer version of this book cover but beautiful things going on with the lighting and it's just so like bold and I love a cover that's big and bold in its colors obviously. Have you seen my own book covers? <laughs> I also really, really love this book and it's really, really good and you should definitely check it out. The next book on this list is for the color orange, but this cover and the other cover in the duology are my favorite covers ever because they're so cool and together they make one whole picture. I'm choosing Between the Wild Branches by Connie Lynn Cassette, which has this beautiful lighting and just gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous vibes. Very bright, very bold, very orange. Again, I love a bold cover, color, combination. The cool thing about this book is that it is a part of a duology, so when you put this book and the first book in the series together, this scroll is one complete scroll, and that's just like such a cool detail that I love seeing in biblical fiction book covers especially. I just feel like in recent years, cover design has gotten so 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 good and I love these covers in particular and all of Connie Lynn's covers because they're so full of nature and like nature hues and backgrounds and they just bring the world of the Bible to life. For yellow I am picking a book by Tessa Afshar and this book is definitely a classic for me and one of my favorites that um, I love to recommend to people and it's just such a great read. It's not very long. It's pretty um, on like the shorter side so it's really easy to read if you're looking for something that's like a little bit easier to digest and just lighter. And that is In the Field of Grace by Tess Afshar. This is a Ruth retelling and it's just... Ugh. The cover has all the beautiful vibes of like a field of grain, golden in the sunset, and it's just, it's very stunning and romantic, and it just captures the story of Ruth so, so well, the story of Ruth and Naomi and Boaz. Probably my favorite Ruth retelling that I've ever read in all of fiction ever. Also, Tessa Afshar is amazing, so bear that in mind. The next color on the list is green and I haven't read this book. I've read a lot of other books by Jill Eileen Smith but I haven't read this one yet. This book cover again for nature reasons. Green is my favorite color um, and I love to see green. I love to be outdoors in nature and this cover in particular is for Daughter of Eden Eve's Story by Jill Eileen Smith and if you just look very closely at it, it's just like such a beautiful gardenscape and when I saw this cover, I believe it was around the time or shortly after I had visited uh, the botanical gardens in San Francisco and I was just like in such a garden mood and I remember seeing 
seeing this and being like, wow. And I just love this cover because I think it just makes the Garden of Eden look so alive and beautiful and lush and green and vibrant and peaceful and serene. And um, overall, I think it's kind of amazing. And it's definitely on my top like list. <laughs> I say my top list, even though my list is like several hundred books long, but on my top list of books that I want to get to and read soon, sooner than later, preferably much, much sooner. For blue, I chose another kind of more recent released book, and this book is from last year, 2022, and it is The Hidden Prince by Tessa Afshar. This is one of those books that we read for Biblical Fiction Buffs Book Club, which was a book club that I hosted um, starting in 2019 and then running through 2022. And this book takes place in the time of Daniel and Babylon and Babylonian captivity, and this cover is just so so stunning and it actually goes along really well with certain things that are portrayed in the story which is always something that I love not necessarily when the book cover is a particular scene but when there's elements on the cover that allude to something that either is featured or takes place in the story or has some kind of like greater symbolism I'm just all for that it's again one of those covers where like the model on the cover is just so striking and like it's so bold and bright and brilliant that it draws you into the story. The next book on this list is the special hardcover edition of A Lineage of Grace by Francine Rivers. A Lineage of Grace is actually a collection of novellas with study questions and a Bible study that kind of goes alongside it and it has a normal cover as well but they also made this very special foil purple hardcover edition that is just so stunning and that is the front and the back of it and I do love all of these um, novellas in here and I enjoy Francine Rivers writing style um, but it's just like you can't really beat a classic uh, like hardcover old style linen wrapped like just beauty um, and the spine. I love when a spine is just like a solid color and it sticks out on my shelf and makes me want to pull it off of the shelf and open it up and oh, I just love it. And the inside is gold too. So it's just, it, this is just like one of those examples of the like, publishers putting out a book and then making that book beautiful. We've got a couple of bonus colors here so stick with me. For the color pink I picked Judah's Wife by Angela Hunt. This series, if you've heard me talk about it before, just ignore me, but this series is called the Silent Year series and this is one of my favorite series ideas because it's so intriguing and all of these books, I think there's four of them total, take place over the course of the silent years or the 400 years between the Old and the New Testament. And this was one of those really fascinating books with a fascinating story to read about and I enjoyed it immensely. The next color I have is the shade of black or the color black depending on, you know, if you're an artist and you know the technical <laughs> terminologies. Black in general, I chose heaven Lights by Barbara M. Britton. It's got some blue, it's got some different tones in there, but this is like one of my favorite covers because it is a nightscape. And if you look really closely, if you look really closely, you'll see the stars and the sheep and the tent in the background and the, the lovely cover model. And it's just one of my favorite book covers to look at because of the vibes. <laughs> like the vibes of, you know, the desert at night and it just, it looks so beautiful and the stars and the lights and it's, ah, I love this book so much. I love all of Barbara's books actually. If you haven't read a book by Barbara and Britton, you are truly truly missing out on the finer things in life. <laughs> and because I did black, that means I also have to do white. So for white, I picked Whirlwind by Dana McNeely. This is the sequel to Rain. And this book cover, it's interesting. It actually shows up darker on camera, but it's got like white mixed with color. It's just a very, very light, light, light um, cover. The back is very light as well. The spine is um, almost all white except for like the bottom in here because the image from the front wraps around to the back. This is the sequel to Rain and Rain was one of my favorite biblical fiction books I read ever. It's another one that we did for the biblical fiction buffs book club back when we were super active over there. Uh, these two I would definitely recommend that you read back to back. There's some series that you can kind of read out of order or only read one or only read the other. For me personally, I found that like a lot of the details um, for certain characters in this story were best read and recalled after reading the first book, so they go together really well. Um, it's very nice continuation. Also, I'm not sure if I mentioned, but these books have to do with Elijah and Elisha and 
that whole time in history, which is a period in history that I don't often see portrayed very often or very frequently in historical fiction. So that was one that was really fun for me. Continuing on in that theme of neutrals, and I'm going to be sharing my favorite book cover that has like brown or tan or just natural earth tones in it. And for me, that would be The Apostle Sister by Angela Hunt. This is such a gorgeous cover. And I believe this is part of the Jerusalem Road series, which has stunning covers all the way around. But this one is probably my favorite cover in the series just because I like how the model like her expression and um, the the beautiful columns and I just like how they look like I, I feel like I could walk into this cover it's like it looks like a real like still from life and I could just walk right into it and be transported like Narnia style so I love this series of covers as well and next up we have silver and gold so a little bit more of a like metallic hue color section and for silver and gold I chose Jerusalem's Queen and Prophets and Kings this one is yet another Angela Hunt book from the Silent Year series and this is a uh, I believe it's a prequel novella collection that Misa Andrews self-published that goes hand in hand with her books that came out uh, through Waterbrook Multnomah. So they're connected in that way and if you liked those books you probably really like these. And both of these just have such gorgeous um, metallic details on this one. She's wearing a lot of jewelry and she looks very like decked out and beautiful. And in this one I love the typography work and it's got some like gold foil or gold metallic design elements to it. So um, in terms of silver and gold, uh, I feel like these kind of both have elements of each and they're really, really stunning. And honestly, some of my favorite covers just because of how like and I said this earlier, but they're just very calm. They're not very busy. They're not a lot to look at. They're just kind of like subtle and there's a stunning beauty in that simplicity. And the last cover color category that I have for you guys today is a bonus color category. And that is my favorite multicolored book cover. And for me, I kind of set some parameters for this. Um, and I chose a book that I really liked its use of different shades and different hues that complement each other. And um, it's not necessarily like a super colorful, full of all different shades and colors out there kind of cover, but it's got um, a few different colors that I think work together really well to create something that's just really beautiful and stunning and captivating. And this was a really hard choice because I could have picked literally any book on my shelf. And I had to narrow it down to this one, but I have a few reasons for why. And that book is Shadow of the Storm by Connie Lincasset. And already, I'm putting it on camera and it's just clearly I had to pick this one because it's got such a beautiful combination of warm tones and cool tones the reds and the pinkish hues with the teal something I love about this book cover specifically and I'll get a little bit closer so you can see the details is um, the blue in the storm matches the blue in her eyes and then the like red flaming hot lightning strike matches the color of the like shawl scarf she's wearing and I'm just going to kind of like hold it a little bit close so you can see all of those details. There's her face, the title, the typography, and then of course the uh, storm beneath. And I love something about the Out From Egypt series uh, that's kind of unique to that series in particular by Connie is the way the top image fades gradually into the bottom image and that's true of all three books in the series. And looking at this actually just makes me really nostalgic for when these books were coming out and I was like a teenager in high school. But this cover I just think is such a fantastic and excellent use of color because of how well the tones in the image complement each other. The top image is like primarily red with her bluish green eyes and then the bottom image is primarily bluish green with that red lightning strike and it's just... Oh. I can't say enough good things about this book cover or Connie Lynn Cassette, honestly, and I've tried. Look back at my channel, you will see I have tried. And for the full wrap, it wraps around with those beautiful teal tones again. And from the spine, when, I, when it's sitting on my shelf, I honestly forget that it's such a beautiful cover. Don't get me wrong, the spine is gorgeous, but it's just that like blue, green, teal color. And then it's not until I pull it out on off of my shelf that I'm like, oh but it's got like such a beauty to it. So I would highly, 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 highly recommend this book. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you liked it. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know down in the comments below if you agreed with these selections or if you guys were doing this video or answering these questions, what book covers would you pick for every single color? My name is Jenna Van Maverick. You can find out more information uh, about me and my social media handles and my website and all of that here on the screen in front of you. And you can also find more links to my books and all of that kind of fun stuff in the description 
description box below. Thank you again so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! Bye.